Good morning, guys. I thought I'd come on here and show you all how I make um, French toast. And it is so good, especially on, like, Christmas morning or something. You know, you need to eat about it, and you're hungry, and, and it's something fast, quick, easy, and it's full of protein. It's got carbs in it because the bread, but it's full of protein, too, because the eggs. What you are going to need... The way I make mine, a lot of people got a lot of different ways to make it, but the way I make mine is, uh, uh, and all of this is at your taste. There's no measurements. Uh, you'll need something, a bowl and a whisk or a fork or something to stir your egg, eggs up with. You will need, uh, according to how much you're making, you'll need eggs. I'm going to use four. Uh, you'll need, um, let's see. You'll need cinnamon and butter or margarine, uh, vanilla flavoring. Uh, I've got, I'm going to use a uh, sugar-free syrup, but you can use either or. It don't matter. Um, you're going to need, I've only got light bread this morning. I prefer Texas toast, something thicker. Uh, and you're going to need milk. And I like an orange skillet to make mine in. So let's get this bowl of rolling. And here's how I put mine together. Now let's see. Let's get us some eggs in there. I'm going to use all four eggs. And like I said, all of this is to your own taste buds. So, and you can I'm not going to toast a raw egg. But somebody might. I'm sure somebody has somewhere along the line. But uh, if you don't ain't crazy about it the first time, then you know to add a little something else the next time you make it. Like more cinnamon or, you know, whatever. Now, some people actually put, oh yeah, and you'll need, I about forgot the main ingredient. I was going to say, some people actually put sugar in this mixture. Now, I don't. I put uh, powdered sugar on mine after it's done. So you are definitely going to need, let me get my powdered sugar here right fast and show you. You're definitely going to need powdered sugar. And I just dumped mine down in a glad bag and there it is because it's hard to work with. Out of the bag it comes, I don't know why they don't make them resealable Ziploc bags, but they don't. So now I'm going to whisk my eggs up some. And broke up here. My ring are banging against the. Now you just want to whip them up. It don't have to be anything special. Just just whipping them some, and then I'm gonna add me since I've just got four eggs. I'll put about a. Oh, uh, no, measure it with a measuring spoon. I'll put me about a half a lid full of uh, vanilla flavoring in there. About a half a lid. That's plenty. Now, if I was using six eggs, I might put a whole lid. And on the cinnamon, the same way. Um, I like a lot of cinnamon taste in mine, so I just eyeball it. Yeah, probably more than enough right there. I like a, a lot of that cinnamon swirly taste on mine. I don't know if that's enough or not. Yeah, it probably is, but I'm going to add some more anyway. I've added about a teaspoon. That, well, no, that right there probably made about a teaspoon. Now, it's looking more like the way I like it. I like a lot of cinnamon. And then, you get me some milk in here. Now, I don't, I don't measure it neither. Let's see. That looks to suit me. That's probably about a... in a little bit more because we ain't got no uh that probably worked out to be about I don't know maybe a quarter cup of milk or eh, probably a little less than that but here's what my mixture looks like let me see if I can tilt that camera down and show you a little bit better 
There we go. There's what it looks like. And yeah. Oh my god. Plastic in the skill. I don't even know what that come out of. Well, now that ain't plastic. It's oh well, it's like that milk jug. Anyway, there's what it's looking like. And then I'm gonna get my burner on here. On low. Get my butter in. Buttered up good. I hope everybody got through Thanksgiving pretty good. I did. We had a real nice Thanksgiving. And um, I like to have never in this world figured out how to get a video on. Uh, I wanted to make pumpkin rolls for you to show you how for Thanksgiving. But I couldn't get the video on to go on Facebook. But uh, I finally figured it out. So, uh, hopefully I won't have no trouble posting this one for you guys. I gotta get the butter out of my fingers. Doing the dish rag. And, uh, I'm looking forward to Christmas. I've been making pumpkin rolls low down because they freeze really, really well. Smudging or scratching on a rug. He likes to scratch him rugs up. He goes, he takes an ocean every now and then. He'll go all over the house and any scatter rugs or throw rugs that's anywhere. He'll scratch, scratch, and roll them up. You go through. You might go through the house and break your neck if you ain't paying no attention. Because he, he planted little smooch bombs. He, I, that's what I call them, smooch bombs. He, he got you ready to trip, get killed on something he's rolled up. I don't know why he rolls stuff up, but he does. Oh, now he's going to holler. And you never know what that's hollering about. Because no matter what it is, he swears we're being murdered. I'm awful glad he's round. Now I'm going to turn this up a little bit and get it going a little higher. And you'll need a egg turner. Let me find one of them. Got me an egg turner. I'm going to get it up. I'm putting it on high here. To I don't want my butter to burn now. I just want it to... Uh, can you see good? Yeah, you can see pretty good. I could probably do a little bit better with that camera. Let me see if I can. I can tilt it. Let's see if I can get it closer to the skillet and tilt it. There. Is that better? Because you just don't have to see me. You just need to see the food. But I like to see you. I have plenty of butter in here. Might have a little bit too much. But I doubt it. You can't really have too much of stuff like that. Not not in, in this little meal you can't. But I'm going to... This, them little cereal bowls that you get like a dollar store or whatever got cereal in them and uh, the grandkids love them they don't want them with milk in them now they just want the full top off and eat the cereal as uh, little snacks and I keep quite a few of the little bowls when I get too many I throw some away or donate them to somebody else because they uh, their hand is I'll get out for stuff like that right there dipping that well you can't what in the world dipping that butter out or uh, to uh, measure them out an even amount of something because youngins, if they think the other one got more than they got, honey, they get they don't like it. I make a plenty racket. And I know that I can you guys to death. Well, I ain't got my word of because I got my bread over here in my well yeah, I can probably right there. I got an old skillet. It's got the handle broke off of it back here. And I use it to uh, pour grease in because what my plan is, is to uh, temper it someday and uh, use it for baking bread in. 
I'm probably going to fix four pieces if I've got enough mixture. Now, if this was Texas toast, I would only fix two, three if I was starving absolutely to death. And I want this to be good and hot. There's the mixture. I stir it up again pretty good. And it's got the four eggs, probably about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. It's got probably uh, close to a quarter cup of milk in it. And uh, I've got the butter in the skillet. And that was four tablespoons is how much it was. And now let's toss this out of the way. Our stirring apparatus, we don't need it no more. Put it in the sink. And then you just take your bread, roll it right down in that mixture. And yeah, you got to get eggs on your hand. And drop it in there. I don't believe I'm going to be able to do It's according to how quick you are getting it in and out of, and I should have used something flat instead of this little round bowl. According to how quick you are, how much egg. My camera cut off on me. What I was saying was how quick you are getting it down in here and back out determines how much egg it absorbs. But I think I am going to get four pieces. And but that's going to be about it. So that's pretty much a one egg per piece of toast is about, I could probably get another piece, but we're not going to worry about it. I'm going to pour it right on top of that one ain't got enough on it. And that is all of that. And let's let that fry and I'll be rinsing my hands off of here, get this egg off of me. Fill my bowl up. went ahead and, and finished frying them other two pieces and they got a little firmer than than I thought they was going to so they're they're about they're just right actually I was afraid that they was going to be a little bit too soft because of having as much butter in my skillet but they're not I'm going to flip that one even though it's not so I can flip this one that's got the extra egg on it my mouth's just watering away. I'm hungry. It's pretty late in the day. It's now near noon. I've not ate yet. I've been busy doing laundry and everything in the world. I've got to work tonight. 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So I need to squeeze in a nap somewhere. And I want to... I can pretty much nap after I eat. So I thought, well, if I get my tummy good and full and I'm good and warm, I'll, I'll probably sleep for at least an hour, hour and a half. And that's about all. If I can get that much in, I'm good to go. Because now I didn't work last night, so I slept last night. And I like to keep as much of a regular schedule, and you know, up of a day and sleep of a night on my days off as I can. I don't keep the third shift schedule when I'm not working. A lot of people do, but I just don't like to. I... I'm scared to death I miss some. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> I don't. I'm not nosy per se. I just uh, love the. I'd make a terrible vampire. I, I love the sunshine and being outside. I've been outside all day about it. Other than being doing laundry and straightening around in the house and doing a few little dishes, I was gonna make a pumpkin roll. I got everything out to. I was gonna make two today and. Uh, the four little crummy eggs was all I had left. And I said, well, I'll have to get some eggs before I can make some. So I'll make French toast. Make me a bite to eat. And this is done. And it's beautiful. And I've wound up with four pieces. And time smooch helps me eat, it'll be just fine. Let me turn that burner out. And I'll show you what I do next. Boy, that's warm. And let me...
piles this and be right back. Okay, here is our French toast. You can get me a knife to cut it with. I'm going to throw not the knife I want to use, but it's the knife I'm going to use. And then I just cut mine on the bias. It feels so good. It's just dry. It cut good, too. And I wanted to show it to you a little bit better. You just want it lightly browned. There's where that extra egg wound up at. And here's one that's beautifully browned. Anyway, now if you want to make a beautiful presentation, let me wipe my fingers off here. I've got my little, I, I love this by the way. I, I use this all the time. I absolutely love it. And then you just uh, put it in there. And I was going to fry some sausage and forgot it. But you, I already put some uh, sugar in my I call it my duster here. And I dust as I stack. And then stack some more. Dust some more. This is just plain old powdered sugar. There's another piece and another piece. Now that's three pieces of light bread so far. And then here's the final piece. Well, that's a lot. I probably ain't going to eat that, but like I said, smooch will help me, honey. I am not worried about that at all. And now, if you've got a little ramekin, which is actually better, uh, you could just put it in the middle of that and... Uh, let me see if I can find one. I'll be right back so I can show you what to do. I found a little plastic ramekin here. And it's not perfect, but it will work. And you put it. But now if you've got something real pretty, you know. Like I said, if, if you're wanting to present pretty, this is a really pretty dish to present with. And uh, a few little strawberries on there. And because Texas toast, I mean Texas toast, French toast, isn't it beautiful? Makes a really great finger food. It does not, you don't have to have a fork and a knife. You can. Mmm. My goodness, that's good. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Can't believe I forgot the sausage. It's delicious. And I'm hungry. But here is my French toast. And my syrup. And I made four pieces. Like I said, I... Would have preferred Texas toast, but this is absolutely delicious. It's just thinner. Um, and you can fry it harder or softer at your discretion. And the taste on mine is excellent, so that worked out real good. And uh, I appreciate y'all Let me come into your home and be impatient with me while I try to figure out what the heck is going on with the... Facebook and all that junk. So, uh, here is my French toast. And until next time, thank you.